I had always wanted to serve a mission. And my dad had served a mission and he was a convert and I always felt that that was something that would be really cool to connect with my family and just, I was so appreciative of my family joining the church and the missionaries that baptized them. And then I went to college and I thought, oh hey, this is really fun. Maybe I don't want to serve a mission. I really like boys and I like dancing and I like all the things that come with being an adult, I thought at the time. And so I really thought about it when I was 19 and I kind of had a freak out and I called my mom and I was like, mom, I don't know if I should serve a mission or not. And she's like, well, you're just, you're not even 21 yet. So don't worry about it. So I didn't worry about it. And I didn't think about it and didn't think about it. And all of a sudden I was about to graduate from college and the whole world was ahead of me and I said maybe I should revisit that idea and after a lot of pondering and praying I was like okay we're just gonna do it so I put my papers in and it was kind of just I made the decision and it happened and I was like all right <laughs> it's gonna happen so the summer before I started my mission so I graduated in April and I wanted to start my mission in the fall. I didn't want too much lag time because I thought I might change my mind or like get cold feet or back out. So that summer in between, I worked as an EFY counselor and I was praying so hard that my mission call would come before I went to Virginia where I was going to be an EFY counselor. And so every day in Ohio, I was waiting and waiting and it didn't come. And so I went to Virginia kind of with a sad heart because I wanted to open it with my family and it didn't come and I just kept waiting and finally my mom said it's here it's here I've got it and we made this whole big to do about shipping it out and she paid all this money to get it into me on time and it didn't show up and we're like what's happening like where did my mission call go um, and finally we found out that it was on a truck somewhere in Virginia like two hours away from where I was working so my friend actually drove me to the UPS truck where my mission call was and we convinced the mission um, the people at the UPS store to like go into their freight truck that was in a lot and they went and got it and then we drove back to the campus that I was working on for EFY and all the EFY counselors gathered around me and I opened it and I cried and I think I had like three phones set up and Skype was running and we couldn't get the camera to work. So I felt very like, oh, this is not the experience that I thought I was gonna get opening my call. But I pretty much cried the whole way through and it was still really special, I think. But it was kind of like, oh, that was just really crazy and hectic. So I was kind of just glad to open it at that point and read the call out loud. 